The Isaiah Factor Uncensored starts right now. And welcome to The Factor Uncensored. We're following a heartbreaking story out of Orlando. A father is still grieving after his 14-year-old son fell off an amusement park ride. After spending his father's day without his son, Yarnell Sampson has called the ride Tyree Sampson's fell off a death trap. In addition to having the ride permanently shut down, he wants an apology from the amusement park and ride operators. Today he told me his demands would have already been met if his son was a different race. Mr. Sampson joins us here on The Factor on Censor tonight. Mr. Sampson, obviously it's been a tough time for you and your family dealing with this loss. Uh, one of the last things I read that you wanted was for this ride to be shut down where your son lost his life. Correct. I still feel the same way today. And so where do we stand now? Have you guys filed a lawsuit? Have they gave you any answers that you need and what exactly went wrong or what? Uh, it's an ongoing investigation. Yes, I have representation. Uh, also, um, we just left up there this weekend protesting. Uh, there's supposed to be a memorial up there. Uh, they took the memorial down. They're trying to open the slingshot ride right next to the drop fall ride that my son died on. Uh, like business as usual, we had a festival. I just believe that it's it's a, it's a color thing. If it was a European child, it would be handled a little different. Or if it was a Caucasian child, it would be handled a little different. But since it's a black little boy from St. Louis, Missouri, it's just some um, tourist, a little poor little area. It's okay to sweep it under the rug because they feel like his, fat, his life don't matter, so to speak. And have the companies said anything whatsoever to you? Have they issued any statements? Uh, all these statements they, they, they reached out for as given, for as the attorney wise, is statements after the fact of the memorial was closed, they had a response why the memorial was closed, or this, that, and third. You know, they have not been transpired in the situation, no. They've not been um, cooperative, I don't think, personally, or considerate or compassionate enough for the dead. Because if they was, they wouldn't have had no cover up scam going on or a fake memorial for maybe a month. And it, now this is going to take it down and just let people forget about it. And maybe in the peak season of business between June and August, we can get some customers to come back. And we can open this ride up and just be business as usual. Mm -hmm. So pretty much the company chose profit over safety. And as a father, how, how tough is it knowing that this ride is still out there, still working, and you just lost your son on it? Uh, well, right now, the ride is discontinued at this current time. It's not an operational. But when, they, when, they, when the memorial was not there, People was walking by, thought the ride was discontinued as far as dealing with maintenance. Mm -hmm. So they didn't know as a young man actually fell off that ride and lost his life. Was 14 years old, an honor roll student from St. Louis, uh, the number five left tackle in the country for his age. So they didn't know he had a bright future. They just thought it was just another kid from St. Louis, so to speak. It'd be a tourist, a tourist kid, and to be swept under under the plate, and especially a black kid. So I just felt like it would have been more attention paid on this matter if it was a European or Caucasian child, in my instance. And how difficult is it for you as a father still going through this, losing that son who was so important to you? Um, it's still a battle. Like right now, I'm tired. I'm sleeping in the in the mid day, like getting a nap, so to speak. Um, it's it's mentally it's draining. Physically, it, it takes its toll on you. Um, in the dictionary, it's something, it's nothing to describe something like this, a parent losing a child. It's nothing to describe that in the dictionary. Um, in laws of physics, it shouldn't happen. It should be the other way around. It should be a child bearing their parents, instead of a parent bearing their child. Uh, this is something that we don't sign up for. Um, we here, since we here, I just want the young man to have proper respect on his name and they can at least treat him like a human being, not just a colored object or 
just just like a, a St. Louis kid, uh, stereotyping them, giving them proper respect. They had a future like any other child in this country. And how are they remembering them, remembering your son there at home, his classmates, his friends? Um, well, we they got a few little things planned for them as far as tributes as far as Eastside High School. They plan on doing a tribute for them. I was hearing. Um, having a, a one of the, during the game, they're gonna celebrate retired's number. Uh, he was committed to going to the East Side. Uh, that's one of the prominent schools in this area. Won championships the last twenty years. Um, so they got a few little things the schools got planned for him. Um, personally, I'm trying to keep his legacy going as well. I think that his legacy have have just as much remembrance during the school time, just like he had before school time. Or as if he was in school, they should celebrate with him. He was having fun, they still should celebrate him. Or as he was on vacation trying to have fun. He didn't deserve to die. He deserved to be right here right now and living his dreams and continue his 4.0 scholarship student type watch. Because he had more potential just being a football player. He could have been an astronaut, doctor, a uh, uh, lawyer, uh, any other potential, magician, uh, rapper. I mean, he had a lot of multi talent. So to say you just one dimensional would be an understatement. Absolutely. Well, Mr. Sampson, we want to thank you for joining us here on the Factor Uncensored. And we want to wish you and your family the best for this tough time. Because, like you said, it's just tough to imagine a, a father, parents having to bury their child over something like this, a horrible incident. We just want to thank you tonight for joining us and sharing this with us here on the Factor Uncensored. Well, I just want to thank you, sir, for spreading the light on the awareness um, to get this conversation going. Um, it should be, it should be heard, it should be heard. Um, all lives matter, especially black lives. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your time.